The USS Gerald R. Ford is the world's largest and most technologically advanced aircraft carrier. This colossal behemoth, named after the 38th President of the United States, dominates the seas with its impressive stats. Stretching over 1,000 feet in length, towering nearly 250 feet high, and boasting a mind-boggling 25 decks, it's a floating city unlike any other. With a capacity for over 4,500 personnel and the ability to carry more than 75 aircrafts, this supercarrier is a true marvel. But it's not just its size that sets the Gerald R. Ford apart. Powered by two nuclear reactors generating a staggering 600 megawatts of power and capable of reaching speeds exceeding 35 knots, it can traverse oceans in mere weeks. The ship's advanced design and technology allow it to launch or land an aircraft approximately every 25 seconds, making it a force to be reckoned with. However, it's the life inside this colossal marvel that's truly fascinating. When the sailors on the USS Gerald R. Ford aren't hard at work, they find comfort in small pleasures. Imagine getting a fresh haircut at the ship's barber shop, sipping on a Starbucks coffee from the onboard cafe, or hitting the gym on the hangar deck while catching glimpses of the cold and foggy Atlantic. But life aboard this massive carrier isn't a walk in the park. This ship is a bustling, compact world, with personnel maneuvering through tight hallways and steep staircases to get from one part of the ship to another. Sleeping quarters are snug, with sailors sharing rooms that can house up to 60 people in single bunks known as racks. Each room also features a shared restroom and a small common area equipped with a television, storage bin, and an upright locker for clothes and personal items. Why such cramped conditions? Most of the ship's space is dedicated to equipment and operational necessities. But don't be fooled by the tight quarters. The USS Gerald R. Ford has everything its crew needs to live comfortably, and it offers facilities you wouldn't expect to find in the middle of the sea. Let's take a closer look at some of these recreational areas. The USS Gerald R. Ford understands the importance of keeping its crew's morale high. That's why it provides an array of recreational activities during their downtime. The ship boasts a fully equipped gym and fitness center, allowing sailors to stay in shape with treadmills, stationary bikes, weight machines, and free weights. For those seeking relaxation, there's a movie theater on board where sailors can unwind and enjoy films during their off-duty hours. The ship's library offers a peaceful space for reading, studying, or simply enjoying a good book. And let's not forget the ship's barber shop, where trained professionals ensure that sailors can maintain a neat and disciplined appearance even at sea. These spaces provide a much needed escape from the demands of ship life. One of the most crucial amenities on an aircraft carrier is the ship's store. Here, sailors can purchase a variety of items, including toiletries, clothing, and electronics. To ensure that sailors are well fed, they receive a non-taxable Basic Allowance for Sustenance BAS, to cover their food costs on board. They can use their Navy Exchange card to buy groceries and other items at ship stores which offer prices similar to those on shore. These stores are operated by the Navy Exchange Service Command Nexcom, and the profits are reinvested to maintain low prices for sailors. Now let's talk about one of the most critical aspects of life on an aircraft carrier, the galley. But before that, if you're enjoying this video, drop a like and launch your virtual bomb on the subscribe button to become our exclusive soldier. It's often said that the way to a sailor's heart is through their stomach, and the galley of the USS Gerald R. Ford takes this saying to heart. The galley is essentially the heart of the ship, a bustling kitchen that operates 24 hours a day, serving up to a staggering 18,000 meals a day to the ship's crew. This is no small feat, and it's achieved through meticulous planning and hard work. Spanning several decks, the galley is equipped with a wide range of cooking equipment, including ovens, fryers, grills, and more. It's staffed by over a hundred sailors, 
many of whom have specialized training in culinary arts. But it's not just about quantity. The galley caters to sailors with specific dietary requirements, such as vegetarians or those with food allergies. Special meals are prepared to meet these needs, ensuring that everyone on board is well-fed and healthy. To maintain the freshness of the food, the galley receives regular resupply missions from other ships, known as underway replenishments. These missions involve supply ships meeting the aircraft carrier at sea to provide food, fuel, and other essential supplies. This ensures that the galley can serve fresh meals daily even during extended missions. Speaking of resupply, you might wonder how the ship gets restocked in the middle of the sea during long missions. It's a carefully choreographed operation. The aircraft carrier is typically accompanied by a fleet of supply ships tasked with keeping it operational. They connect using a series of cables, lines, and hoses to transfer supplies, fuel, and ammunition from the supply ship to the aircraft carrier. This operation is delicate, especially when transferring large amounts of volatile and combustible material, and safety measures are in place to prevent accidents. These supply ships play a crucial role in ensuring the carrier's continued operation even during long missions. Below the flight deck lies the hangar bay, a massive space where aircrafts are stored, maintained, and prepared for flight operations. It's a bustling environment filled with the sounds of machinery, power tools, and the ship's engines. Sailors in the hangar bay are responsible for aircraft maintenance. They work in specialized teams, each focusing on a specific area of aircraft maintenance, such as airframes, engines, avionics, or weapons systems. The hangar bay also serves as a training ground for exercises and drills, helping sailors sharpen their skills and prepare for various scenarios. Safety is paramount in this area, given the high-stakes nature of aircraft operations. Finally, we arrive at the heart-pounding epicenter of activity, the flight deck. This is where the magic happens, where cutting-edge aircrafts launch and land around the clock. The USS Gerald R. Ford's flight deck is an immense space that can accommodate over 75 aircrafts, including fighter jets, surveillance planes, and helicopters. It's divided into separate zones for launching and recovering aircrafts. On one end, aircrafts are launched using Advanced Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch Systems EMALS, a groundbreaking technology that has replaced traditional steam-powered catapults. EMALs allow for smoother and more efficient launches, reducing wear and tear on the aircraft and increasing their payload capacity. On the other end, aircrafts land using an arresting gear system featuring Advanced Arresting Gear AAG. When an aircraft lands, it deploys a tail hook that catches one of the arresting wires stretched across the deck. The AAG system then absorbs the kinetic energy bringing the aircraft to a complete stop in a short distance. This system allows for safer and more efficient recovery of aircrafts, even in challenging weather conditions. So there you have it, a glimpse into the life of the USS Gerald R. Ford, an awe-inspiring world of high-tech operations, tight-knit camaraderie, and relentless dedication to maintaining a floating city on the cutting edge of naval warfare. If this story had you on the edge of your seat, don't just stand there. Join our ranks by subscribing for more military insights and epic adventures.